Today we're joining Father Hugh McKenzie, who's going to be offering proofs for the soul in a language and in a philosophy which accords with modern science. I hope we can continue the discussion of the topic in the comment section below. We know just from our observation, but particularly from modern science, that material things tend to behave in predictable ways. They don't appear to be free. And yet, it's quite important for our religion, I suppose, that human beings are free, but it's also part of our human experience that I'm responsible for my actions. So this belief in the Catholic tradition, I think, is reasonable based upon a careful observation of human consciousness. If we reflect a little bit about what it means to be a human being in his self-consciousness and as an acting person, then we can see that we do believe that we're free, that we're responsible. We have an experience of making decisions and of making choices in a world that's not so free, in a world that's predictable, in a world that seems to enable us to make these choices and take these actions. So there seems to be a duality, a complementarity between this human power to act intelligently, creatively, freely, and the world in which I physically act through my body, with my body, which is my physical environment. And that's not free. That tends to be determined. And I learn through observation gradually about the way in which the physical world operates. When I'm just walking down the street, I tend to realize that it's probably going to still be there for the next step that I take. So I can take that next step. There's that complementarity and duality in my experience. We call the the ability to be free intelligently the spiritual and we call the physical world the objects of sensation which are not free in the same way the physical so we have a spiritual soul and we also have a physical body i think this is confirmed by modern science because we've learned a lot about how physical things behave and we know, for instance, that living things exist within ecological niches. That is, they have specific limits within which their characteristic behaviour operates. Whereas human beings are not so limited. The characteristic behaviour of human beings is always going beyond limits, being radically creative, even possibly radically self-sacrificial even possibly radically destructive and cruel and polluting of the environment. That coheres with our experience that you put a limit in front of me, I can always go beyond it. That's not the characteristic behavior of physical things, which are understood as being part of an ecosystem which deterministically defines them. So I think modern science supports this understanding of what we are conscious of, which is being free in a world that is not free. So all of that is evidence that we're more than human bodies.